For member statements today, we will hear from Windsor Lake, St. John's Centre, Topsail Paradise, Placentia West Bellevue, and Exploits. The Honourable, the member for Windsor Lake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to recognize the upcoming 35th anniversary this July of a vital part of my district, the McMoran Community Centre. For more than a century, McMoran has been there for the neighborhoods of Brophy Place and McGraw Crescent. <coughs> for families, for young and old, established thanks to the efforts of the Pius X Parish. I said, I misspoke myself, I should have said more than a third of a century, it's not quite that old, more than a third of a century. Uh, established thanks to the efforts of the Pius X Parish, the center began with just a clothing exchange and a food bank, but expanded today to encompass a range of key services. None of this would be possible, of course, without the intense efforts of its staff and its many, many volunteers. While no one act of charity should be elevated above another, I was asked to thank the efforts in particular of Brother Jim McSheffrey, who gave the last decade of his life into moving the programs and profile of the center to where it stands today. Mr. Speaker, it was Coretta Scott King who once wrote, the greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its, of its members. McMoran Community stands not only as a beacon of compassionate action in my district, but in our province. Thank you. <laughs> the Honorable Member for St. John's Center. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to accompany a group of uh, English as a second language students from Holy Heart on an overnight trip to the Brother Brennan Center. Their teacher, Mr. Greg Simmons, organized this trip to practice their newly learned fly fishing skills. Yesterday, I had the privilege to speak to grade four students of Hazelwood Elementary about elections, what it means to be a member of the House of Assembly, and how we work together to make the best decisions on their behalf. Thank you to teacher Marnie Sinnott for the invitation. Ms. Sinnott and many teachers across our province use the recent provincial election as an opportunity to teach students about elections and the different forms of government. That's what teachers do, improvise, adapt, and seize opportunities to make learning relevant and fun for their students. They spend their own money, arrange special trips, and give of their own time to bring learning alive. At the heart of teaching, at its very core, is the student. Teaching is a career with the potential to change students' lives. As the school year draws to a close, I take this opportunity to thank the teachers of Newfoundland and Labrador for all they do on behalf of our students. Thank you. Thank you. The Honourable Member for the District of Topsail Paradise. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, it is an honour for me to stand and congratulate Mr. Charles Moores, a lifelong member of the Canadian Royal Canadian Legion, who turned 102 on June 9th. Mr. Moores was born in uh, 1917 at Carbonaire, Newfoundland, and currently resides at Meadow Creek Retirement Centre in my district of Topsail Paradise. Mr. Moores, at the age of 23, joined the Merchant Navy and served until the end of the Second World War. While at war, Mr. Moores tells of a time they encountered enemy action and his boat was torpedoed and sank. With just a life jacket and unable to swim, he jumped into the ocean and had to hold on to a raft for approximately three hours before being rescued by one of their corvettes. When the war ended, he returned to Carbonaire and in 1949 married Elizabeth Deering. Together they moved to St. John's and raised a family of three children. He worked at Steers Limited for approximately 25 years before becoming self-employed, operating his own driving school. Mr. Moores lived at his home in Paradise before entering Meadow Creek three years ago and takes part in all activities, especially enjoys it when they have music and dance. Mr. Speaker, I have asked all members to congratulate Mr. Moores on his 102nd birthday. Thank you. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Placentia West, Bellevue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's uh, my honour to uh, represent the people of Placentia West, Bellevue. 
It is a great honor to inform you of a celebration I attended this past weekend. An organization in my district celebrates 40, their 40th year of incorporation. 40 years ago, they had a vision. They decided to bring communities together and create something for the future. This organization has been a key player in the development of tourism and other services in their communities. They were, they were and remain to be instrumental in the establishment and maintaining of the Presentia West Medical Clinic located just south of Boat Harbor intersection. This organization also operates the T. Rose Restaurant and Heritage Grounds, a great place to stop on your travels while traveling on Route 10 to Heritage Run. I would like to congratulate the Presentia West Development Association on their Ruby anniversary, 40 years and still going strong. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. And the Honorable Member for the District of Exploits. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On March 5th, I had the honor of emceeing the Business Falls Lions Club Speak Out, a contest that provides youth with the opportunity to build skills and have a public voice in issues that concern to them. One contestant, 18-year-old Victoria Pretty, voiced her concern on the importance of voting. She placed first in local, regional, and district levels. She then went to participate in the multiple in speak outs in Nova Scotia last month. She often takes advantage of social media in this day of age by using her platforms to speak and educate others in politics, issues in her community, and other concerns such as environmental stewardship and racial injustice. Victoria is a level three student planning to major in journalism at the University of Kings in Halifax this fall. Mr. Speaker, I ask all members of this house to join me in congratulating Victoria and all provinces youth on their accomplishments. Thank you.